guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs, and today I am going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful abstract glitter animal print tumbler. It's really, really pretty, and let me, I have to give a huge shout out to the video that I saw on TikTok that I got inspiration from this. It is at Colt Customs on TikTok. I was scrolling through, found it on my For You page. Really, really, really beautiful work on her page, so definitely make sure to go check her out. Again, that is at Colt Customs on TikTok. If you happen to see this girl, thank you so much for the inspiration. Your videos are gorgeous. All right, I'm ready, so let's get started. So I'm starting off with a 20 ounce thick tumbler that I've base painted white and I'm going in with of course my Mod Podge and my Wet n Wild Soft makeup brush. And guys this glitter, holy moly, it is incredible. It's called Silver Moon from the Glitter Grind and it's a shard glitter. So like the shape of it is very different. It's, if I had to describe the shape if you can't really pick it up on camera, I mean literally shards. Like, like glass shards or like very finely ripped up paper, like if that makes sense. But it is so soft and it lays down on a tumbler beautifully. It is gorgeous. I'm so, so excited. And I'm going to be covering this entire thing with it. So I'm just going to be coating the entire tumbler with Mod Podge and then laying down that glitter. I will more than likely get impatient and take the lid off <laughs> because um, that's just who I am as a person. But regardless, it is going to look absolutely beautiful, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I feel like the shards is very underrated. Like, not a lot of people work with it, and I mean, you can tell my bottle was still full. I have not used it very much, and I like, shame on me, because it is stunning, and I promise you guys are going to love it. I'm going to really try hard to not take the lid off, but we'll see. But see how beautiful that is? And it just lays down flat. Like, it is so pretty. My patience did not last long, but guys, look at that. How stunning is this? So I'm just going to set this to the side really quickly and put my Mod Podge brush down here, get all this cleaned up before I make a big mess. I'm gonna put this away and be very, very careful with this glitter. It is so light and airy. I don't want to accidentally, oop, like I just did. Oh my gosh, why am I like this? But I'm just gonna take my thumb and go around the rim to kind of like clean that up a little bit. So it'll be a lot easier to deal with after epoxy. And then kind of like a chunky glitter, I'm gonna make sure everything is laying down flat. If I wouldn't have taken the lid off, it seems like everything was laying down flat on its own, but me and my super impatient self couldn't take it any longer. I'm just ever so gently flattening that out with my wax paper through the rim one more time give it a little shake okay so now I'm gonna let this dry with the Mod Podge for about 10 minutes or so and then I'm going to spray seal it with um, Rust-Oleum matte clear enamel pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups add mm, probably two coats of epoxy and then we will come back for the next step first I'm gonna spray paint the entire tumbler covering the entire thing with black from Rust-Oleum and then I'm gonna let the black dry completely and then once the black paint is dry I'm gonna go in with aromatherapy from color shot spray paint the entire tumbler again and then let that dry so now we have the two layers of spray paint what we're gonna do next is very very time-consuming but also very very fun and very very worth it I love these styles of tumblers so I have a paper towel here and some pure acetone and a little pump bottle you can use paper towels you can use um, cotton balls wash rags whatever you want but you can see right here where I started rubbing the acetone onto the tumbler and exposing that glitter underneath and I will be cleaning up that mess of like where it's kind of smudgy um, I won't be using acetone for that but I'm pretty much just gonna keep doing this completely around the tumbler not removing all of the paint obviously but quite a bit of it until I'm satisfied
Now I'm going to go in with some 91% rubbing alcohol and I'm going to clean up all of like the black smudge spots. That is going to help clean that up without completely taking the paint off to expose the glitter like the acetone did. So now that that's taken care of, we're going to add foils, and these foils are stinking gorgeous. I love them so much. They are from the Glitter Grind, and of course, I will have them linked in the description. So I'm going to put the foils on the purple sections. Now, I don't want to completely cover up the purple, of course. I still want like an outline of it to show, so I'm just going to do like the middle of the purple, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go through with the foil adhesive that is also from the Glitter Grind and a small paintbrush that I got from Amazon. And I actually cut up some smaller sections of that foil to make it a lot easier for me to work with. So if you've never worked with foils before, I do have a few videos on here about them. Um, but they are really, really fun and easy to work with. So I'm just going to explain the first one and then I'll speed up the rest of the process for y'all. So I'm going to take some a little tiny bit of foil adhesive on my brush and brush it along the areas that I want the foil to adhere to. And I don't want it to be so much that it's dripping all over the place. So just really, really super thin layers. And now I'm gonna put this in front of heat, whether it be a hair dryer or a heat gun or whatever you have. I'm gonna let it set in front of the heat for roughly uh, like 30 seconds and then come right back. I'm just adding, I wanted to go ahead and do um, a bigger section than that actually. So I'm just doing this whole area right here, leaving some of the purple outline. All right, so now it dried clear, but it is extremely, extremely sticky. So I'm going to cover up that spot that I just put the foil adhesive on and I'm just rubbing with my fingers. And now I'm also going to put this back in front of the heat for an additional 30 seconds. All right, and now I'm just going to peel it off. And I'm just kind of pressing down and some of my adhesive. Some of my adhesive ran a little bit, so I am just going to very gently remove that because I didn't want anything over on the glittered section. So it's really easy to kind of like slice and remove if you have to. But that's what it looks like and I love it so, so much. So now I'm just going to finish the rest and hopefully not have to fix any more of my own mistakes. super cute I love it so now the only thing I'm going to do is just go through and make sure everything is down good and flat and then I'm gonna pop it on my turner back here from Bama cups I'm gonna add two last finishing coats of epoxy and then it'll be all done the finishing coat of epoxy just makes a tumbler look so stinking good and I love how this turned out it's very different it's very unique and I just really really love it before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. And that was said by Albert Einstein. That is all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, make sure to go check out who I got the inspiration for this tumbler from. It is at Colt Customs on TikTok. She's got some really, really beautiful designs on there. Make sure to go check her out. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!